A social media, long time no see. I've been out in uh, Cali having fun. It's a lot of rain, a lot of life. I haven't seen Cali this green in, in my whole life I've been here, so I've been out outside playing. It's like a waterfall behind my house now. It's, it's nuts. But anyway, we're about to hop right into this. Um, mono fasting. This video is going to be called Mono Fasting. And this is something I love to do uh, regularly. I probably do it uh, once or twice a month. And what mono fasting is, is you pick, you know, one thing to eat. And, and it's normally juice or fruit, something uncooked, unprocessed. Uh, and it'll be much more soothing on your digestive tract, your body. It's going to know exactly what it's getting uh, every time. It's, you ain't got to think about what you about to go cook or you're not putting all of this, all of these thoughts and your energy up here into um, putting all of these things in a pot, chefing it up, seasonings, boom, boom, all of that. It's real difficult for your body to change up. Um, it has to do, has to throw in different things to digest different things. So it takes a lot more energy to break down certain things. So yeah, mono fasting, if you look, at nature, uh, we look at our God, Mother Nature. Uh, and the animals and the organisms, they typically eat one, one type of food. Uh, they may change during, you know, depending on what season it is, it is, but you typically see organisms sticking to the same food. You don't see them thrown in. You don't see a gorilla go grab a banana, grab a leaf, you know, and then a mango, twist it up put it in here, you gonna wrap it up, a little, a little lettuce wrap. <laughs> you, don't really, you don't see that. And that's only something we do. And then we go cook it. And then, you know, it's really destroyed after that. So we wanna uh, stick to one food. And you'll notice your, your body, your body will show you. Uh, you don't have to listen to me, do it, do the work. And you don't have to, t you don't have to listen to nobody talk. You don't have to read, you don't, you don't have to read any books. Let your body show you. There, you know, books weren't always here. So, so, um, but this is what I want. I want. I normally do this on oranges, and I'm not. I don't want to recommend oranges because for beginners, that it is acidic. It is. Um, that's. It's not. It's not. It's smooth when you're just starting out because you can't get those. You can't kick those oranges out as fast as you probably gonna need to. Um, I also do a lot of running. So when I'm doing this, when I'm doing my mono fasting, um, typically the oranges are out in three hours, and and that's all that's coming out. And I also I like to do my salt waters in the morning. Some uh, probably I don't know maybe once or twice in the seven days or in the four days that I do this, um, and. If you're a a few a, a fruitarian, if you if you're a little bit more cleaner than the average person, then try it out. I think you'll be able to do it. It depends on how clean you are. If you already have a, a a pretty regular bowel movement, if you're active, then it will work. But if not, then I recommend something more like seeded watermelon if you can get your hands on it. But um, make sure it tastes good because your mind can it's gonna start doing backflips if you're not ready and then it won't be as enjoyable as what I'm talking about and you're gonna be sitting sitting down and uh, experiencing that detox you know so um, depending on where you are in your health you may you may not experience what I'm talking about because I put in a lot of work and when I'm doing this, I feel really clean. I feel really light. No body odors. I'm waking up. Good, fresh breath in the morning. Um, I could breathe all the way into my stomach, deep breaths. So, so make sure when you're doing this, you know, go, go see what your body likes. Don't, don't just do what I do. You might have to do something else. When I first started doing this, I used to do pears. I used to sit there and put pears in the juicer 
and buy a bunch of pears just to you know do this do this cleanse so that that became really uh time consuming and and very costly and um it didn't make me feel too much more too much better than the oranges do uh, you just have to stay active and keep your body flowing and you'll be okay and if you look into fruitarianism, some of these athletes, they'll tell you their their best times is on citrus fruits, citrus fruits. And I don't know why that is, but I doing your, doing my research and checking out, you know, people that are actually doing it, real people in the field, they'll say it like, "Yeah, man, citrus, I my my best running times on citrus." So I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with that, but I've I've had great experience with it, and I do quite a bit of running uh, while I do my my fasting, um, while I do my mono fasting. So something something's up with the citrus. A lot. Uh, I know a lot of people. They as soon as I tell them about this, they're like, "Oh, it's acidic. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. It's really high in sugar." So um, that's the next thing we're gonna get into: sugar. Uh, you can do you can do it your body loves this stuff it makes you it makes you sweet it, it gives you it gives you that sweetness and like i said your body odor is just if you do the work it takes time to get all of that out because the average person is uh not i'm not bragging or anything but the average nine times out of ten you're probably not as clean as as i am or you haven't put as much as work this is a different type of sugar um and it, it doesn't work the same. So it's just the same thing with salt. You know, people, they get scared of that salt, the salt water flush. I have high blood pressure. And, and uh, I've seen that there's arsenic or there's something in, there's a uh, fluoride in the salt. Well, you're not getting the salt that I'm getting. Um, so when we, when we gotta, we just gotta trust nature at this point. There's a, <laughs> I mean, not everything that we eating is 100% natural, but if you're not if you're not just eating just straight fruit and you complaining to me about sugar from this oranges, and you going and cooking and gourmet your food, like you don't have no room to talk. You know, if you're not actually putting in the work and going out and flushing your body out and doing these things, if you already doing more damage than you complaining about, then you don't you can't really say you can't say anything about it. So when we um talking about talking about sugar or salt or, you know, different different types of things when you just really think about what you're talking about before you say it and pay close attention to nature, you know, be in unison with the earth. But sticking to topic um, on mono fasting, uh, yeah, you can you can try different things. I actually love watermelon when um, when summertime comes around. Oh yeah, watermelon is going down dollar or seven pounds at this sale. So all summer, no oranges, and then I'm really flowing because those oranges or those uh, watermelon are a lot more alkaline, and uh, it's, stuff is really moving at that point. So. So you might have to change it up. Don't do oranges if you're new to this. Um, and if you can't do it for uh, four days, seven days, like I do, then do it for a day. Uh, do it for two days. Just test your stuff out. You'll get better uh, once you get over that hump and you'll see the grass is greener on the other side. And nine times out of 10, you're gonna look and be like, I'm not going back there. You're gonna be like, I wanna see What's even further, I feel better. And if you like me, you wanna just keep feeling better and keep feeling better and keep having these great experiences. Cause um, I'm, I feel that a lot of people aren't allowed to experience uh, certain sensations and things that I experience because um, just blockage, you like literally blocking out the greatness. Um, you blocking out the sun that DNA activation that you get from the sun is getting blocked out by these foods. Um, we all, we know that chlorophyll is what converts the energy from the sunlight or what converts the sunlight into energy in plants. And, and it also does some other things that we don't really see 
as far as activating DNA, activating information, and our intelligence comes from the sun. So, so you want to relieve that, relieve that dense food, because uh, you're literally blocking out the sun when we, when we eat these foods that we're eating. The, the molecular structure is all twisted up. Uh, so the more you clean out and the more you um, you put in, or the more you are just you, the more it's just your DNA, and instead of that plant's DNA, that over here's DNA, and then these sugars and these molecules that that we never had, and then all of this stuff that they're putting in the air, and you you get the idea. So the more you are you. You don't have to worry about all of the stuff, all the uh, the surrounding stuff. Your body is so strong, it'll fight all of that off. I'm hearing people talk about, oh, it's everything's all messed up and this and that, but you're not doing no work to fix it. So I don't, I'm, I don't want to hear no, no complaining if you're not putting no work. So, because if you was doing the work, you wouldn't even be talking about that. You wouldn't even be worried about it, because this is this is work on your soul. This is this is um, this is progress in all different mind body soul uh, it's all connected whether you like it or not i didn't make the rules and um i'm not a scientist and stuff like that but you can feel it your soul your it's soul starts to speak when you clean up when you clean up you you become more of you and it can't nobody tell you nothing I, i'm not worried about nobody telling me nothing about what i'm doing because i know it's right um and I'm gonna keep on, keep progressing, and doing the best I can. But I'm strong. I feel, I feel confident in what my body can do. But I don't, I don't want to keep rambling. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in here and show y'all a little something about how I twist the, twist the oranges up. Show you how I yield as much of the juice as I do in a short time with my juice man or whatever this machine or thing I got. Um, so we'll go in here. I'll take you through that, and then. Go out and uh, do your thing. I love to share, so show me what you got. Okay, so I have my oranges that I get. Big old bag, right? 25 pounds for about 10, 11 dollars, depending on which oranges you get. They have like a different kinds. So I get about 75 pounds, maybe 100 pounds, depending on how long I want to do it but then I have my little juicer here it's about a liter of juice each time I run one of these it's a liter and then my oranges uh, it takes about six oranges to produce a liter so after I run I'll just make one of these maybe two most likely one and I'll just chill out and then wait for my body to tell me when it's ready to, you know, refill and just do it like that. Keep it real simple. I'm not thinking about food. My thoughts are really amazing, real sharp and really quick when I do this. Um, but for if you do it for extended amounts of time, you'll notice um, your body starts to crave other things. Your mind starts, you know, starts acting up. The detoxive symptoms get really intense. Uh, I don't know how long you can do this. It's just depends on how strong you are, I guess. Um, but I have so many other obligations. It's hard to go out and make money and you know do all the other things that you gotta do. Can't just sit down and detox. Uh, I would love to create a situation when I could just sit down and just put all the work on myself. But until then, just seven days. Keep clean. Shower. Internal showers. So yeah, that's all we do. My little knife, <laughs> my big knife. You already know. What it is. Bam. All right, y'all. Peace and love. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Much love.